The great southern region of WA is a huge source of some of the world's finest produce. We are in Denmark today, surrounded by some of the most pristine farmland you'll ever see. And we're about to meet some of the farmers who are committed to bringing you the healthiest and the best quality food. So it's out of Karma Chalets we go and onto the road to learn more about organic farming, one of Australia's fastest growing industries. With a shared passion of the ethical treatment of animals, Murray Brooker, Jan Lewis and Lois Rowland have come together to form the Mount Lindsay Ethical Farmers Cooperative. They manage some of the best farmland in WA. The farms are organic, so nothing is genetically modified. There are no chemicals or fertilisers. And they also have a strong focus on environmentally sustainable practices. Murray, what kind of environment do you have for the animals here? Well, as you can see, it's um, rather beautiful today. We're surrounded by National Park. We have good rainfall, uh, but we have the base soils too that are uh, rather good for um, growing sheep. What is organic farming? What's the difference between this and traditional farming? Um, oh, I see it as um, using as many nat natural products as you can so that um, you look at the sheep in a way that um, what would they normally be eating, what would they normally do if they weren't in a farming environment. So you try to provide that environment without the use of chemicals or artificial fertilisers. You say you like to have about half the amount of animals here than other farms. Why is that? Basically to protect the uh, pastures so that it's not overgrazed, the soil isn't damaged and the um, product can be maintained at the highest possible quality. It maintains a healthier flock. Uh, we like to think that the soil um, feeds the pasture, pasture feeds the sheep, um, and then that feeds us. So you're getting that, you're getting basically the flavour of the soil coming through. And if you've got good healthy soil, you've got good healthy sheep, um, and then it turns into healthy food for us. So you can actually taste the difference? Uh, you most certainly can. A lot of people who have had our product certainly comment that um, it tastes different to anything else they've had before. You're getting the taste of the season, so it gets to you um, without any interference from chemicals or artificial fertilisers. If you see people putting out chemicals, they've got um, all sorts of protective gear on. Well, we don't want to be eating that, so uh, it's about looking after ourselves, but by looking after the animals that we breed, looking after the pasture, looking after the soil. And it's what farming used to be. No matter how ethically animals have been raised, sometimes farmers have no control of what happens after that. But Murray, Lois and Jan go to great lengths to ensure those ethical standards are maintained right to the very end. We, um, we have a system where we deliver the sheep to the abattoirs and we um, put them into a pen so that they are um, well and truly uh, away from things that might disturb them and, and affect them or stress them out. We want to put forward the idea to as many people as we can that this is the way forward for um, farming um, and if it can be done in in this way on a bigger scale, which it is on one of our farms, um, it should be possible everywhere. Organic farming is growing rapidly each year. It's fast moving away from a niche industry and into mainstream agriculture. Farmers say so many more people are interested in what they're buying these days, and that's fueling the rapid increase in ethical and organic farming. And even if you are paying a few dollars extra, you do know where the food is coming from and more importantly, that the animals are treated well.